back to my dad's channel. Welcome back to my dad's channel. Welcome back to my dad's channel. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Phoenix198720 here to bring you my latest episode and my Let's Talk series. And today, we're going to talk about the Joy-Cons on for the Nintendo Switch. When the Joy-Cons came out along with the Nintendo Switch in 2017, within a few months, a lot of people, including myself somewhat, had issues with it. My biggest issue before the Joy-Con drift, and I'll get into that in a little bit, was the damn size of the controllers. They were horribly tiny. And I understand the design to make it nice like a Game Boy, but you're making a console game. You could have made the Joy-Con controllers as big as the Horde pads. You know what I'm talking about? These third buttons are nice spacely out there, but no, you made them really tiny, you broke the control deck up so you can turn the controller sideways, which is all good. It's all good in theory. But did you think about anybody with the bigger hands? You know what I mean? Or you just, okay, we're going to make this a Game Boy uh, size button pad and that's all people need. Those things are tiny. And then Nintendo ran into another problem, which was Joy-Con drift. And they, after a while, they said, you know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Send it in to us. You made the shipping. Send it in to us. We'll fix it for free. Well, that's great and all. And I'm not going to lie. That is a great thing Nintendo's doing. But at first, people said, oh, it's a Bluetooth connection. That's why it's doing it. Then they said, oh, the antenna. And it was the reason they're doing it. No. You know what? What a cheap part. And guess what? You got a cheap thing. And what a lot of people don't know, one of the reasons the Joy-Con drift is because of dust and hair particles and the air gets under there. So anytime I had that, I pull my Joy-Con apart, spray it, give it a nice little spray with some air, and then I'll go. And then I get probably a couple days out of it and do it again. So I went on Amazon. I ordered myself a Joy-Con kit repair, which I ended up ordering a couple of them because why not? 20 bucks? I can fix. Anybody around me need Joy-Con fixing? I can fix. And no problem, no problem. I ain't got extra parts to be fixing, but that's besides the point. And everything like that on the Joy-Cons were, I don't know. It started making people mad. And then people kept going back and forth on the Joy-Cons and saying, oh no, you should get this. If you don't like the Joy-Con people, because there's so many issues, Nintendo's guys got another solution. It's going to run you uh, some money because right now they're $79.99 in stores, and that's Canadian, uh, so our dollar sucks, uh, for Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Or, heck, you can go with the Power A, which is a lot cheaper, and eh, no issues there. I'm not going to lie, you may lose some functions with the Pro A, but hey, at the same time, you get a lot of functions as well. So the Joy-Con controllers are a hit and miss. A miss and hit. Like, I have a set that I bought at the same time I got my system on day one. No freaking issues at all with them. Except for the batteries on it don't long, uh, last long. But that's besides the point. I don't really play. My kids love it. Especially when they play Mario Part Super Mario Party. Pardon me. And they do. They really do love them. Because that's all my son ever uses Joy-Con. Which is great. It is great that he loves them. Me? Nah. Too small for my hands. And probably a lot of people said the same thing before they even had the issue of the Joy-Con drift. And you think after four and a half years they would fix that? No, they didn't. And what makes me laugh is Sony, PlayStation, 5, DualShock controllers. Guess what? They have the same part in them. So, Sony's like, yeah, if Nintendo can get away with this stuff, uh, so can we. But, yeah, the thing is, Nintendo's got about, I don't know, half a dozen lawsuits. And you guys got probably about three or four lawsuits because of the Joy-Con drift. Now, the Joy-Con drift is not, not going to disappear anytime soon, as long as the Joy-Cons come out. They're not. Would Nintendo revise and put a different type of stick, control stick in it? Probably not, because 
it's cheaper for them at a business point of view if you pay the shipping and handling and send it into Nintendo that yeah guess what they're gonna fix it it's gonna take them five ten minutes to get it fixed and then they mail it back out guess what your shipping costs on that is what's paying it to go from one place to the other and back to you but you didn't think of that did you but at the same time is it a big deal y'all know about it four and a half years later same issue still as this why are you still whining about it don't want the joy cons dope up some little bit of extra money get the pro controllers get the third party controllers for it you won't have any issues you will be you won't be able to play um arms or uh super mario party but don't worry mario party superstar is coming out soon which was gonna be yes with a classic controller as well and you'll be able to play that with a classic and nintendo i don't know they keep pushing out different type of controllers here soon we're gonna have the legend of zelda uh anniversary controller come out they probably didn't fix the issue. They just painted it with a different skin, slapped on a sticker, and put it out the door. But guess what? A couple million people are going to go out and buy that controller. But guess what? They're all going to have the same issue. And guess what? They're going to still be complaining about it. So let's talk about it. Why buy a product that does not work well and bitch about it you know the issue stop buying the pro controller if or not the pro controller the joy con controller and if you buy the joy con controller shut the hell up because you want to know why you knew the issue before buying the controller you just was too dumb to realize it and now you're on a social media platform crying about it bad controller you don't buy now me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna get myself a Legend of Zelda Joy Cons, but you know what? They ain't coming out of the box because you know, 15 years from now, they're gonna be worth lots. The same like uh, the Wii Remote with the Skyward Sword on it. If you didn't take that into the package, it's worth quite a penny right now. So before I go any farther in this, because you know, guess what? This is the end of my video. Do me a solid. Hit that like button. Share this with all your friends and family and across all your social media platforms. And if you're new to my channel, do me a solid. Hit that subscribe button. And then flick on that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. And drop me down a comment below. I would like to hear your thoughts on the Joy-Con. So... Until further ado, this is Phoenix 198720 here to say I hope you guys have a good morning, a good evening, and a good afternoon. Peace.